Hello friends! Welcome to Spicy Cat Colors. My name is Kathy. I have my completed pages for the month of October. I know I'm late. I got a giant bucket. So let's just get started. Apologize, you might bounce around a little bit. I'm trying a new setup. We'll see how it goes. Okay. I think I got a total of 42 pages done, which is kind of impressive. So I don't have them in a... I think I have all my color by numbers first. Um, I'm going to put a bunch of hashtags in the description. I'm probably going to forget to say them, and I will apologize. Um, just know I enjoyed, but since I'm so late to post, it probably might not matter. Anyway, let's get started. I tend to always do something in this Sun Life drawing, 40 colors or 40 coloring pages. I kind of just go through and do them willy-nilly. So I did this Christmas color by number page. Um, don't remember what markers I used, but I just did one page in there this month. see hold on I need to rearrange this a little so I could stack what I'm done with okay one I have three of these books and my goal is to kind of do at least two every month in each of them um, just because I enjoy color by number and these are some fun ones. So typically I've been working from back to front. This time I decided I was going to try and find some that maybe were appropriate for the month of October. So in Flowers and Birds Relax and Color, I did two. Did I do two? I think I did more than two. So I started with my back to front and I did this one which is the Fairy Wren. And I did this one. Now, even though I was using the super tips, I thought this is a lot to color in. So I decided to try something different and I just outlined each of the um, shapes where I would have colored in. And I kind of like it, it's a little different. I also did this beautiful macaw and then I had decided oh wait I think I want to do some that match the season so I skipped around and I did the sunflower page um, where I grew up sunflowers were the crop and I absolutely love them so I did the sunflower page and I did Oh, I know there's another one. Here it is. The Owls, which would be with Halloween 2020 from Sabrina's Twist of Color and Owl October 2020 from I Am a Coloring and Books. So this I did the background in a... Um, super tip I think and then I kind of just used a bunch of different I used gel pens of varying metallic and the like so that was this book in the mystery color jungle animals I did two I did the bat which I do not like bats I may tell you stories about that in a color in chat at some point and I did so this one's not so much that this um what is it it's some kind of beetle I don't know and <laughs> the reason I did it I'm like well it's a beetle and it reminded me that in the fall we get the Asian beetles here and they drive me nuts but so I did a beetle in Lou of the Asian Beetles. The thing I don't like about this book, and I don't remember if the other ones have it, like they have the number four, which is white. So I just wish it didn't have a number there. 
I think some of the other books are just blank. So that kind of annoys me, but I'm not going to go white it out or anything. These are just to unwind, relax. Um, yeah. And then I also have the relax and color. So in this book, I did the hot air balloon. Kind of same thing. This is supposed to be blue, but I just kind of did a basic outline. Gives you the idea. You can tell. And then I did this mandala, which was pretty fun. I did use, uh, I smeared it a couple places. I used gel pen. Then the two seasonal ones I did were the leaves page. Um, same thing. I actually did a different color. I forget what they wanted for your outside, but I just blacked it out because I thought it made the colors pop. Oh, and then I pulled up my paper clip. And then I did the spooky tree um, with the very cool fall foliage background. This one was a lot of fun. I do like this. We get some very pretty tree um, color changes here in Minnesota. Okay, then continuing with my color by numbers, I worked in my color by number animal mosaics. I think I only did one in here. I really do like these with the black backgrounds. I had don't have the original ones. And when they released these from Sun Life Drawing, I bought um, all three. There's a Christmas one, a travel one, and the animals. It took me the longest time to figure out what this was. I had no clue. Seriously, at first when I saw these, I thought they were penguins. And then I'm like, well, those aren't any penguins. And it wasn't until I seriously finished the last couple colors that I could see that it was a hippo. <laughs> so animal mosaics. I did one in, I think I only did one in the travel mosaics. I should be checking. I have my list next to me. Actually, no, I did more. So my husband and I went on a vacation at the beginning of the month and I brought just a few coloring books. And this was one and I did this one on the road all in glitter gel pen. Yowza. That is like seriously whew, sparkly. I also did this on one during the trip. Did a little bit of glitter gel pen. Mostly I had a set of alcohol markers I brought with me. And the Great Wall of China did an alcohol markers. And that was all from this book. I did three. This one I'm working from back to front. Clever Miller Travel Mosaics. Um, another color by number. Fairy Magic. Um, from Color Questopia. I really do like this book. Uh, I did, this isn't a... No, I did show that one in September. I was just messing around with the markers. I just did the one and again working from back to front and this is so I know a lot of us tell stories about the pictures we're coloring um, I've decided in this one I'm giving everybody a name so I did this on um, Indigenous Peoples Day or the previously known as Columbus Day. So this is my indigenous fairy. And then last month I had done this one and I forgot to show you. I called her ballroom fairy. Um, I'm pretty messy. So I have a ton of washi tape and I just use a border to finish them off. I did another. This was a purchase from Amazon Prime Day. I have no idea why this particular coloring book was inexpensive. Sorry. I have to um, adjust the books or they're all going to, my little tub's going to topple. Okay, but I was excited to get this one because I do love chibi girls. And I just randomly opened the book and did one. And I'm pretty sure I did something wrong. <laughs> she looks 
so wrong. Well, first of all, I changed some of the colors because I did not like the way they wanted to do them. I can't say that mine is any better. I just want to check, are we? Yeah, okay. So make sure we're still in frame. So twice this month, I um, went to a girlfriend's house and we spent the day coloring and I did this one there. So this little one, oh, oh I got coffee here. I got to move it. I called Halloween Overload because it's like, obviously she has some candy here and maybe too much. And she's on like the serious sugar high. I have no idea why her eyes look so weird. They're supposed to be glasses. I did something, but anyway, it was still fun to do. Chibi girls. Um, another color by number. I have the... Um, Color by number Jade Summer patterns. And I did this one, which is the first page in the book. I think I did the colors right. Pretty close. Pretty close, I think. Or maybe not. No, I did. <laughs> um, and it just happened to be all fallish colors. And there must be one other one I did. This one, I was just in the mood to color something, um, and I use Sharpies. Color by number, Jade Summer. This one, I'm excited. I had purchased this, and I had not colored in it yet. I do enjoy Creative Haven books um, and cats. We, I had to shoe several. We'll see if any of them come up here during the filming. But same thing. Um, this one, I just opened it to a page because I know I will enjoy all of them. And here is the one I did. This is the Oriental Short Hair. These books do have the um, key in the back. And again, I was just kind of playing around because I have so many different coloring mediums. So I did like glitter gel pen. The cat is all glitter gel pen, the parts of him that are colored. And I did, this was the windows are glitter gel pen and the flowers. And then I just used alcohol markers, I think, for the rest and added some kitty washi tape, but very fun. This will probably be another one that I just want to do at least one a month and I'll just probably randomly open it up. But this is a nice one. Um, George Tufexis is the illustrator. This was a purchase last month after I've seen several people out here using rose windows. I love stained glass and had to buy this. It was actually a September purchase, but I did not have this in my video last month. So here was the first one I did. I did use a water-based marker. Um, and with this paper, the marker pretty much eats it up. You can feel I was trying to use some, try, test out some new markers I had. Oops, now I moved things. Okay, hopefully I'm still in frame. There we go. Uh, my camera's up too high, so I can't see if I'm in frame. That's why I'm using this base where I can line up. Let's put the book right there. But um, very much enjoyed this. I cannot wait to do more of these. I think this, that, those were all my colored by numbers. Now these are just some coloring. This was a new book I had purchased at the end of um, or September. And I did a seven gel pen challenge and randomly kind of picked them and then I realized I called this Grandma Spicer's Afghan because these are the colors in an afghan that belonged to my grandmother and I currently still have it and it's used <laughs> very much but again the nice holy smokes this is like better than like a highlighter so that was pretty fun definitely want to do more in here This, I think I showed last month, had been a whip, and I finished it, so that's exciting. Um, the Color It Cats, Kittens, and Wildcats. 
so here is yes it was a whip and now it is complete so i had just needed to finish up um to get a little mess finish coloring in the cat add some detail to the butterfly very fun i like her i'm assume i'm going to say it's a her um kind of i had well i'd started it but um, in finishing it, I decided to stick with the pinks. And I think I have another one, too, that I did for the um, Stuck With Pink for Breast Cancer Awareness, which is in the month of October. And I have um, a very close friend, my college roommate, who has is a survivor. And I thought that was a kind of fun. Lots of glitter gel pen. This, I'm just going to show you because I have it next here, didn't finish. I so wanted to finish this. This is in Colorful Seasons. Um, so this is my, I think I showed you that last month it was a whip. It is still a whip. I did not finish my beautiful autumn scene. I got further. I got all the grass, the barn. I think that's about all I did. I think I'd already had everything else, so... I need to finish this this month. I cannot have it be a whip. It was a whip last year, so it's been a whip for a year. And it is the season, so that's my, pretty sure that's my only whip. Then I have just some fun little, um, not too serious. <laughs> I bought or showed these in a recent haul um, that maybe isn't posted yet. I got these at, um, Dollar Tree. They were each a dollar. And I actually bought them because I wanted these stickers, which are super cute. But then they also have very nice, um, the paper is not so nice, but the images, easy coloring. Obviously, they're aimed at children. So I did one in both of them in the Uni Creatures. I just used my Crayola fine tips and made a rainbow unicorn zebra candy love and fool <laughs> pretty much tried to use all the colors and then in cosmic cats same thing i bought this for the stickers which these are well worth the dollar <laughs> um if you find them at dollar tree they are more expensive at other stores i did the jammin dj cat I don't know why he's in outer space. Well, because it's cosmic cats. But, um, again, not too serious. Just was using the Crayola and Rose Art markers. But I still counted those as a page. Okay, I have seen people do this book out here. And <laughs> I finally bought it. I don't know, and this is the one thing I'm not sure if this is actually licensed appropriate. It has a copyright, but I'm not sure if it has the Disney license. It says Disney princesses, doesn't have like a trademark or anything, which makes me wonder, I don't know, but I bought it and I did it. And I have no idea for sure who this is. And I think that's because these books maybe are not actual Disney books. So, I did this lovely, I did the first page, I did it with a pink glitter gel pen. It did run out, the, I had to use a different one to finish the last row. And I'm pretty sure this is Aurora. Anybody else can tell me for sure if you have this book, if you've done this page, I think it's Aurora. I have done some in November and you'll just have to wait to see those hot messes, but um. Yeah, I tried one of the dot ones and a spiral. And I definitely need some more work on these. But I don't know. The, who is it that does this? Is it Jamie's Coloring Love? Um, I'm sure Jamie's not going to watch this. If anybody else remembers who else shows this book. Yeah, I can't tell who anybody is. But I did one out of there. Then I think the rest of these are... Well, these are my Halloween colorings which will match any of the Halloween hashtags I have listed. I had recently purchased this. It was in my book outlet haul and I almost didn't get color in it. I think it was 
October 30th when I actually did. Same thing. This is double-sided and I wasn't too, oops, too worried because this page, I, the quality is really not that great as far as the um, drawing. So I didn't care if it went through, but I still use just, I think, super tips and oh, it was on the 31st that I finished it. So just trick or treating kids. A little fun, a little different. So at least I got to do one out of my Archie and Sabrina's Halloween coloring book. This, again, I've got about five Sugar Skull books and only got one page done. I still could get one done for November, although I'm filming this on the 11th, which is past um, Dia de los Muertos, but we'll see. So this is Marty Noble's Sugar Skulls, and I did this one, actually, on my wedding anniversary. My husband and I both love Sugar Skulls, and I love bright colors, so I didn't realize at the time it was the color, or the cover image, and mine's totally different, but I like it. I used some gel pen, I used nail polish, to get some of the, um, it's probably not going to show, I know it's not going to show. Um, and then I gave my husband a gold tooth and I outlined the skulls at least in white. I didn't completely white out the outlines, but I just wanted to give him a little something poppage. Sugar skulls. Okay, we're almost done. Um, this is my last book then everything else is in a pdf so little witches a coloring book i actually did two one of these i had done i had it as a printout and i did this on my um trip so i have the original in there but i had um a sampler pdf and i had printed this out so i was so excited because this was my first daisy joy and i posted it on instagram and daisy joy took it and put it on their page so I was so so impressed just exciting doesn't happen to me but I'm not quite sure about her color story but you know when you got green skin good luck finding things in here and this I'm not going to edit because I'm lazy with this I really do like how she turned out but she was such a hot mess. I tried to do a galaxy background, which was horrendous. Um, not sure if you can still see some of the stuff, like the moon and some of the planet might still be showing through a little bit. I ended up blacking it out, which needed to be done because I should watch a video on how to do a galaxy background before I try. These, the planets I had done in metallic, so I couldn't black them out. The um, black didn't cover it. Anyway, I think I saved her. I really do like um, how I added the white background. I bought my very first white Posca pen. And <laughs> my little story, you know, she was practicing her magic and sent herself into space and made herself sick. <laughs> Or else this is pea soup. I don't know if that, that green color is not good. But in the end, I do like her. She took a lot of work. I didn't think I could save her. Now I have some PDFs. And then I have some buddy colors. So the first one right here is a freebie I had um, gotten at Coloring Bliss, Jennifer Stay. I think it was a last year one, but I really enjoyed it. Purple's my favorite color. Um, started working on this on our vacation. Did most of just the like base, because in the car it's very tricky to do all this fine detail, but uh, it's my witch's shoe. Then if any of you are not familiar, um, Elizabeth, Dilemba, I'm sure I'm saying her name wrong. Um, go to her website. She is a author, um, illustrator, and she does a lot for children's age, elementary age, 
but I have been taking her images and using them for years. She sends out an email every Tuesday. This is her coloring page Tuesdays, um, but she has a ton of every type of coloring page you would want. Um, so of course it was election and I did these on my coloring day with my friend on um, Halloween we spent coloring and I have four of them and I did them all with a little bit different mediums I was just playing I also have used her images she has some really cute reading fairies and the like and because it's a it's actually a JPEG you can print them out to whatever size you want and you can crop them and I usually crop off the top and I've resized them smaller and I make a lot of handmade cards and I've used them on cards I've colored them for cards but okay so here is my first vote teen I just used inexpensive water-based markers here is my second one I used alcohol based markers and did outlining of everything in a black glitter gel pen here is my Statue of Liberty voting. Um, alcohol. S not sure what that was. A paint pen, I think. And just outlined her in black. And then this one was pretty fun. I um, it's It was just a bear that I colored to look like Winnie the Pooh. And I had purchased some oil pastels. They're Crayola brand. Um, just to play with, to try and also used some chalks and I just put the color down and used my finger so it's kind of messy but um I still actually kind of like the look of it so that was my um voting <laughs> get out and vote so the rest of these now I need to get them I apologize I may not be in order my they are not so, my friend and I that um, color together did some buddy colors. So, she gave me her copies so I can show them to you as well as mine. So, the first one we worked in, actually, were both of these, I think, from here. Actually, I think there's three that are all from the same Jade Summer Chibi Girls um, book. So I have to get hers in order. Okay. <laughs> so I just have the um, digital version of this book, the PDF. So the first one we did, I absolutely love. I... Um, this is kind of my friend Kim and I is how I we both did our um, pages. So this is supposed to be me and this is her. And I told her, well, I know this one is you because you are the only one that would wear um, high heels if we are out crime fighting, whatever we're doing. But this um, all alcohol markers, I did use obviously white gel pen and I tried I got a um jelly roll glaze is that gonna focus and I do have crystal accents as well but I wanted to try the jelly roll glaze and I'm not that impressed with it I used it on the eyes I think is about it and a little bit on the the boots and shoes so this was mine and then my friend, we ended up being very similar. I think we even used the same markers. So this is my friend Kim's. What I love, I gotta make sure you can see both of these. Okay, you can. Is, look how we did the hair different. So I saw it that this was all her hair. And mine was kind of swept to the side. And she has short hair. Um, and so she colored it that this big chunk which I gave to her was mine because I have long hair and really you couldn't tell I'm thinking maybe because of the dark outline right here separates it but when it's all said and done does it really matter so that was the first one we did as a buddy color and 
the second one. Uh, uh. Here, oh, here's my other witch that I um, did for October Breast Cancer Awareness. There we go. I'll put Kim's to the side. So she actually picked this picture and did hers first. And then I just went with just about every pink marker I could find. Um, did some metallic. Not real happy with how her face looks dirty because of the pale um, color I used. But I was using a different set of markers. And then, let me show you, hers is so flippin' adorable. Here is the one she colored, and like I said, she did hers first. So let me show them to you side by side for our buddy color. Very, very cute. Move it over a little bit. But her little frog, like I said, we just have so much fun. We spend seriously the whole day together coloring and talking and laughing and um yeah it's pretty awesome and then we did another one out of the jade summer and she picked this one first as well here is my finished picture which i wasn't 100 percent sure coloring again i'm like well i i started doing her all gray as a cat and then I didn't know how to do her hair. So I kind of just went with whatever I wanted. And I purposefully didn't look at Kim's to see what she did. And the funny thing is, in her little kibble dish here, I tried to make them look like M&M's. Peanut butter M&M's. Because that's what we were eating while we were crafting. And then... This was kind of a weird orangey red that, again, just was using what I had with me. <laughs> and I actually found this, it's not washi tape, but it's a adhesive border tape that actually matched that. And the best part is, so I have seven cats, which miraculously, none of them have jumped up here, but I could see one right now. These are my three youngest boys, and I colored them to look like so this is my diesel and frankie and huey and they're all laughing at me and then here is my friend kim's again adorable isn't that so cute and <laughs> purple is my favorite color and i don't know if pink is kind of hers but uh <laughs> i i guess i knew she had done her girl in with purple so that I purposefully didn't want to use purple but there they are side by side we both did green eyes I did use the white Posca to go over the highlights in the eyes um just kind of <laughs> maybe went a little too much with details on the um Posca or <laughs> But it was, it was so fun to do. And what I have to say is my friend Kim, before this month, she had never used, she had never done grayscale and she had never used markers. She always used pencil. And when we started coloring together, I pretty much only used marker and I've just been getting into grayscale. So I um, have influenced her a little bit and she was amazing. I can't believe it. So that was our Jade Summer kitty. And then these last two were the first ones I ever got. And for us to um, buddy color, because we are huge. Are you ready for it? Which one should we do? Can you tell? Tiger King fans. We talk about it. <laughs> we obsess about it. Probably a little bit too much. So I did my Carol Baskins first. And I'm just a fan of the show. It was like my binge watching during the initial corona. Which I've been working the whole time. But um, I just think it was just fun. I, and I hadn't 
I do have a PDF of Carl Magnana. Magnana? I'm going to say her name. Magana. Carl, Carlo Magana. Um, and I wanted to do some of her Halloween themed ones, but instead I got Carol Baskins done. So I actually did mine in September, but I had not shown it here and I had to wait for Kim to do hers. So here's her Carol, totally different. I was, I've seen some other people do this and I'm like, well, is this blood or we went with sardine oil because that's a thing if you guys know the show. <laughs> and since she was on Dance with the Stars, I thought we need to finish this. Um, again, I love doing the washi tape border. So I made mine more of a night scene with orange sardine oil <laughs> and Kim did blue. So that's pretty fun. So then of course, you know, besides Carol, we have to do, oh, Joe. <laughs> Here is my Joe exotic. He is quite exotic. I had colored all of him and then I wasn't sure what to do with the background. And um, it was one of my days I was coloring with Kim and I just kind of said, I'm going for it. I'm blacking it out. I'd never blacked out a background before. Absolutely love how this turned out. <laughs> I painted his fingernails. I cut off part of his finger <laughs> accidentally. I'm like, he's also a magician. He's got like a floating fingertip. I really like my tiger. Um, I did outline all of the lines. Well, all of the tiger I did. And most of Joe in like a black glitter gel pen. I didn't do his gun and um, holster and pants. But I did that and I did use that glaze. Did I use the glazer? I have a glitter nail polish. I've been, you know, it's the glitter nail polish I put. And then Kim, this was hers, which hers looks totally different because she did it in pencil, which I am so impressed because I am terrible with pencil and she does a really good job with the blending. And um, yeah. So I'm impressed, but that now she is pretty much converted to markers because they don't hurt her hand as much. But there are our two Jew exotics and he is exotic looking. But so this was also it's a set you can buy on Carla Magana's um, website. Uh, it's a PDF download of Carol and Joe. And that, my friends, is all of my completed pages. I do have some dried up, used up pens. Um, this was my pink gel pen I used for that one Disney. That did not work. This one, unfortunately, it's not that I dried it out. I purchased a set of markers on Prime Day and it came to me dried out. So that's a bummer. I did um, post review. We'll see if they correct it. And I have a lilac at you spica. I do like these. These I had these like years ago in my like card making, um, kind of before the big gel pen crave craze. So um, I do have I think a full set of these, but. They're just not as sparkly as gel pens nowadays. This one was a set I got from um, Dollar Tree. Pretty sure yeah, it's pretty close to, it's not going to do any more coloring, but it's just uh, like a paper, paper mate type. This was my set. I had this one. Actually, it's scented. I can just smell it. This was um, Illy markers it's I think I showed them in a haul and they are actually a really good starter set of alcohol based markers they have a bullet and it should be a chisel but look what I had did to this don't ask me 
<laughs> Can you see that? It is like mangled beyond mangled. What happened was I was putting it in and I wasn't lined up and there's a little circle inside there. I like spliced it and then I had to like try and save it and use it till it died. And let's just say it is dead. But um, if you've not used alcohol markers before, this is a really good set. It's like $16 and it's three different sets of colors. And then the other one that is no longer is my um, light old olive blendability marker from Stampin' Up. Um, they're alcohol based markers as well. They have a bullet tip. I have the full set because I sell Stampin' Up. So, and a brush tip. There's a little bit in there, but it's so streaky. Yeah, it's just bad. Um, I put the little tape on them because, again, I color with my friend a lot, and she has some of the same markers, and we always would get them mixed up. So this was just my way to um, keep track of who's is who. So not a lot of used up, which just means I have too many supplies, and I can just keep changing around with them. But there you go. Now those can all be thrown away. I'm pretty sure that is everything. Um, here, we'll let you look at Joe while I <laughs> say it, my goodbye. I can finally, my poor nails, can you look at that bad one, <laughs> are so bad. I've been not taking off this manicure until I could film this video for October pages. And now I can finally take it off. That one decided it's just coming off on its own. But the best part is these glow in the dark. So it's been kind of fun having them. But there you go. I hope you enjoyed my completed pages for the month of October. I know I had a blast. I can't believe I had so many completed pages. But when you have two full days where you only focus on coloring with your bestie, it kind of works out that way. So... Um, I already have a few done for November. I am so excited to try and take part in more challenges and um, hashtags. I'm still looking for people to buddy color with. I'm new-ish to, um, well, I'm new to ColorTube, but um, I'm not new to YouTube. So if anybody wants to do a color, buddy color, let me know. If you saw any of the books I have, you have the same books. Or we could just pick something. We could say, let's do a flower page. Let's do a, I don't know. I don't know if I have a turkey page. I'm trying to think of Thanksgiving. Or let's get started on Christmas. Um, I'm open. We can be creative with it. So thank you so much for stopping and hanging out with me. Um, I greatly appreciate it. I don't take it for granted that anybody watches my videos. Um, I do hope you are having a wonderful day and you are doing well. And I want to remind you, in case you have forgotten and in case you haven't heard it, that you matter. You are amazing. You are beautiful. You are the king or queen. A little bit better than him. And if you actually made it all the way to the end, you are probably a seasoned friend. Thank you. I'm so glad you guys are over here. And why don't you drop the word tiger or the emoji tiger into the comments. That would be kind of fun to make people wonder, what did she talk about? So, okay. Joe says goodbye. And so do I. <laughs> goodbye, friends.